This is part six of a series to introduce the eight thinking maps. I'll be releasing one video each day. Subscribe to get notified. Use the flow map to sequence events or things. Let's create a flow map explaining how to create a sketchnote summary of a book, one that is similar to this. Notice how I switched to grid mode. I'm doing this because with the grid enabled, it is easier to align objects and my flow will look neater. I'll be switching between grid mode and normal mode as I develop the flow when I need to fine tune how text is positioned within the rectangles. You first need to get the book. I get mine from Amazon as I do most of my reading on a Kindle. As you read, make highlights and add notes. Once you're finished reading, download your highlights and notes to Obsidian. This would require two sub-steps. First, downloading the My Clippings file from the Kindle, and then converting this file into Markdown Literature Notes. I place these details under the Download Highlights process step. With your notes in Obsidian, you can start the first pass review of your notes. This includes converting chapter titles to markdown headings, highlighting parts of your notes that stand out, and adding quick first rough sketches where you are inspired by the text. Then comes the second pass review. In this second round, focus only on text you highlighted in the previous round. Mark important keywords by making their typeface bold and refine your sketches. Once you're finished with the second pass, you are ready to generate a first version of the book summary file. I use a templater script to extract highlights and sketches into a summary.md file. Edit, rearrange, refine your mini summary, and then take your individual sketches and compile the book on a page sketch. And that is it. Enjoy your book on a page drawing. You can print it and hang it on your wall or read it a couple of months or years later and be reminded of all the great stuff you learned from the book. If you're interested in the topic of creating a sketchnote summary of a book, I have a separate video on the subject that explains this in much more detail. Be sure to check it out on my channel. This concludes the introduction of flow maps. As you could see, flow maps are excellent when you need to understand or explain the sequence of events or things. In the next video, I will cover the multi-flow map. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when part 7 is released. Thank you for watching.